Hi, Cheryl Locke here. And in this paint.net tutorial, we are going to take an image and add text to it and have the text outlined. It's super easy to do, and once you see this tutorial, you'll be able to do it yourself in no time. Okay, here we are in paint.net, and we have an image. Make sure your image that you're going to put your text on is resized, cropped, everything like that, so it's going to be the size that you're going to put it on your site or your social network. Once you have your image sized and ready to go, then you need to decide what color you want your text that you're going to place. Now you can go over to the color wheel, pick different colors if you know what you want, or if you think you want a color out of the image, say the yellow in the flower, simply go to your tools box, get your color picker, Go to the place on the image, say this bright yellow, and click. As you can see, that's now going to be the color of our text. Once we have our color decided upon, we're going to do this very, very, very important step that if you don't do, our outlining is going to be screwed. So make sure you do this. Go up to Layers. Add New Layer. Now you won't be able to physically see the layer over it because it's transparent but it's going to keep it separated from our original image so we can outline. Once we have our Add New Layer, go to the toolbox and get the T for text. From there, you can choose a variety of fonts. You have different sizes, bold, italics, all of these things. I usually choose to do center align when I do text, just because I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, once you've done that, go ahead and put your cursor where you think you want your text to be. Type in your words. There we go, we got sunflower. Now you can manually move it by this little white box, grabbing it, moving it around. If you want it centered, go to Effects, go to Object Align. You can center horizontally, vertically, left, right, bottom, top. So let's do it horizontally. There we go. Now we should be centered with our picture. Now that we have our words centered and where we want them, we're going to outline them. You're going to go to Effects, Object, Outline Object. Here's our little pop-up. Here it automatically comes up with a color. It happens to be blue right now, but you can change that. Make it any color you want. Let's go for a dark orange and, ah, uh, too, bleh. There we go. We'll go with a brighter orange. I think you can see that on the video. Now you can adjust the width of this outline by either clicking the buttons here, and it takes it a couple of seconds to adjust, or you can move the slide bar. And as soon as you have it like you want, you're good to go. Now we also have the option of angled. And when I click Angled, as you can see, it kind of just slings it to one side, or you can click both sides. And it gives it a little bit different effect. You can also adjust your angle with the circle. And there we go. You also have some blend modes that you can play around with and see what you like. Now, once you have it, the size you want, the color you want, and you're good to go, just click OK. Now, if that's all you want to do with your image, you can save it now. But if you want to do like we did here with Haley Reinhardt's picture, where we have a different set of outlining colors, what we're going to have to do is don't put your text here if you want different colors. We're going to go up to Layers, Add New Layer, and we're going to make a different layer and we can put our text and we can go to effects object align align horizontally and now we can go to effects object outline object and we can pick different colors and as you can see now we are only working with the layer number three. We're not working with this so it doesn't affect it. That's why adding a new layer each time you want to make a big change 
is how you have to do it. You have the same options as the angles, the colors, the widths. Once you have it, click OK. Now I left mine just one color, but here on this picture from Petapalooza, I have the two, the zero, the one, and the two different outlined colors. Each one, the two is on a layer, the zero is on a new layer, the one is on another layer, and so is the last two. So if you want to get really colorful, you're going to have to add a new layer each time. So that's how you add text with an outline to kind of brighten it up. Thanks for watching and we hope this has helped and be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips here on YouTube for more how-tos.